Hello guys, my name is Armin and today I want to show you Navisworks Freedom. This is a viewer version of Navisworks Manage and it's free to be downloaded from Autodesk website. Um, this is a powerful tool to open up federated models, view the issues and navigate through the project. So let's just jump to the Navisworks Freedom to see how we can leverage these free tool on our projects. You can find Navisworks Freedom on the Autodesk. It's a free version you can download. I will leave a link down below so you guys can use it to get um, to the location and download it. Um, when you get over here, you'll be able to see a little bit description of what's going on and you go a little bit to the download section, you can see all the versions of the Navis Work Freedom are here for you to use. So we're gonna use a Navis Work Freedom 2023. It's not gonna be a big difference between 2023 and 2024. Uh, we will download that. We basically go through the, the panels and the tabs and see how everything will look like. But first, make sure you hit the Autodesk website, download the link, follow the instruction, and get ready for the first lesson. Okay, so I downloaded Navis for Freedom. Um, I open it up. You guys can see here, Autodesk Navis for Freedom 2023. So the first thing that I can see over here, we have the project, search and, ser uh, search and select, visibility, display, and tools. So I wanna open up a, a file. So go to open, I click, I select my file. Um, if I look at the drop down here, there is like a different uh, other file type that I have, but Navis work freedom only opens up in WD. A quick tip here, we have three different types of Navis work file format. In WD, which is Navis work document, it's just a viewer. Uh, it contains all model geometry together and also you can think of it as a, um, as a snapshot of a current state of a model. Um, the other format is NWF, uh, which is the merger model. So you basically play a place and uh, append all the NWDs, NWCs, DWGs, like all the all format, it can be inside the NWF. Um, but the good thing about NWF is no model geometry is saved within this file format. So that makes the NWF considerably smaller in size than NWD. And the last one, it's NWC, it's a cache files. By default, when you open any uh, CAD files, like anything, if you append a DWG, you open it up, it create a, a cache file in Navis. And it's basically, the good thing is it, it NWC files are smaller than the original files. So speed up your access process. Um, so let me just open the NWD that I have real quick. So when I see this area, this is the first thing. Uh, I want to go and look for my panels. So I need to open up all the panels to see a better understanding. First, I want to go to view. And then uh, the first one is navigation aids. I can click on the navigation bar and you guys can see my navigation bar starts over here. Um, I have the walk, I have the select and basically all the look around and everything uh, on the panel. Um, so it's uh, easy if I want them a little bit um, get closer, I can do the walk, I can kind of hold on just the mouse and then move forward. And if I hit control and the, the right mouse button, it just goes up. I can with the roll button, zoom up and down. And I can kind of move forward, back forward just by using my uh, mouse. Uh, the next one is the view cube. So you guys, if you wanna look at it, you can go back to the home, you can front, back and top, and basically kind of give you a really good access. The next one is pretty um, a good tool that I'm using. Uh, the first, this one is basically um, gives you the X, Y, and Z. So when you take measurement, you can kind of a little bit refer to this to see where you at, like which one are you on the X axis, Y axis, like how you can kind of um, 
rotate the measurements to see which one is accurate the next one is a position it tells you the coordinates so like that position that i am right now and looking at it what is my uh, z what is my x and what is my y all right here i'll be able to see and the next one is a grid location so the navis is basically extract all the uh, grid location uh, from the model that was appended and I can double check here so the next one if you guys look grids and levels I can hit on show grids and you guys can see the grids showing up and it's telling me what model is pulling that from right so he's pulling it uh, from the RAC model uh, we have two, one of them the architectural, one of them the structural. I can double check and you can see this is a structural model on this side. And if I select that, the grids are getting selected from that. And if you have a different level, this is going to be the drop down that you can hit and you can select different level to see. Um, this one, it basically shows you where you want to see those grid lines. You want everything fixed at the bottom right so if i fix it at the bottom it's going to open up the level of um of the model for me so right now if i go up i can kind of take the grid up with myself right so let's say i want to go to level one you can see the grid comes up i want to go to the ceiling the grid goes up another version some people wants to see at all levels at all the time it, it's it's a kind of lot and it's make it and then some of them only want to see from above and bottom you can check that but i would recommend get it fixed and then you can select that level as you move up from one level to another level so the main thing that i would like guys to get from these panels know how to turn it on and off you know what model is coming from and also you can select the level like what level you want that to be shown Right. So mostly if you want to use the structure, it can do um, the next one. I want to use a uh, look at the reference views. This is a very helpful tool, as I mentioned. So if I open it up, plan view opens up another plan and it shows you where you are. So you guys can kind of see this. And that's really helpful when you are working in a, on a very big project and you want to go from one location to another location you just basically you can um, grab the tool and just move around and tells you exactly when you are and also you can kind of dock it right and we didn't talk about the docking but you have these arrows when you get anything closer to the side it basically tells you exactly where you want to dock this so i want to for now just put it in this corner you know and just let's say just make it big so i know where am i so if i move so the gadget moves over there triangle shape right there and it's kind of moving around and tells me exactly when i was and before and when i'm gonna go later i can kind of move that one and it's going to move me to the different area other good tool that i have over here it's basically this next box so this one can give me the section view of where you are so i have the two tab right now at the bottom one of them plan view one of them section view and you guys can see like how i will be able to see all the roof top parapet you know all the levels that i have over here and again like the same thing if i kind of move it go level level down up and down if i move that you can see how basically going up and down and it's going to give me a dead elevation view and tell me exactly where am i so I, I would recommend just use these two in conjunction with your navigation it's going to help you a lot to see exactly where you are and if you don't want to see this you can kind of auto hide it just your pin right here remove and then sometimes if you want to bring it back if you don't even like it you can hit the x button and then if you want it you can kind of check here to bring it back right and if you have multiple draw uh, uh, basically if you don't want to be over here you can take it to the different area let's say i'm going to dock it right here um, so i can see um, it depends where you want to move it so you can see one of them on top one of them over here and you can kind of just remove it and it stays at the bottom um, so I think these are really, really helpful for you guys to tell you where you are, where you're going. So basically gives you a little bit of an understanding of the project and how you can move from point A to point B. 
Um, this one, it's pretty simple. You just click on it. You see the, the full screen, um, the split view. If you have, if you want to split the view, show it on one side and the other side, you can kind of hit the vertical or you want to look at it, like a look at the horizontal. So you guys can, it's a two separate view. If you want to see two different items, you'll be able to do it. If you want to go back to the original one, just check uh, the box. I want to show you the um, vertical as well. So I can kind of go to this way. This one, I want to go somewhere else. Uh, they're pretty much like view one, view two. It's different. So you'll be able to see that. Um, um, the background color, it's basically this background that you can see over here. They have a few different options. Like a diff the first one is just a plain. Um, if you want, you can kind of change it, let's say, to blue, apply, and the background is going to be blue. If you want to change it to graduate, so you say from that color to that color, apply, it looks like um, a better kind of gives you a, a better uh, view of it. And then the, and the last one is just uh, basically just give you a horizon. So it, it it's more for, you know, if you want to take a picture, show a better one. But I, to me, it just I keep it on plain and black because when I do the clash detections, I can see all the items and components and everything pretty easily. I, I can find them because all are, all are going to be color coded and it's going to be easy when you have a black background to see all of those. Um, so the last one that we want to take a look at here is um, the windows so this is really important because you need some of the items that you want to see and the, the the windows right here under the view tab is a location that you can turn on your selection tree which is the one one of the most important we're going to get to it we want to see the properties and then a measuring tool if you want a saved viewpoint that's really really important and then we are already turned on the, the plan view and the section view, view if you want to have all of those. But to me, um, when I'm working in Freedom, a selection tree properties, saved viewpoints are the most important ones that I want to work with. Um, so this is the property panel. This is the viewpoint panel. As I mentioned, you can kind of grab this and there's dock it in a different way. It's up to you. And then the, the main thing, if you guys, you want to save the workplace, like if you want to have this, you just basically save it at the area that you want and you can kind of come back to it anytime you want to just go and load and it's going to bring out the, all the pre default area that you had. Thank you guys for watching today's video on Navis Work Freedom. We reviewed view tabs and I hope you learned a few tips and tricks on it. So if you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like button and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.